I was I had been destroyed from all these doings. That many times I've looked into the mirror and I've seen the Joshua that it is not me anymore. I've seen that there is an evil in me that I would want to be dead already. Um, many times, brothers and sisters, that as we are partying, I've seen the things that we are doing that it is wrong already. That there is no more peace in my life. There is no more joy and the satisfaction that could I ever found in that drug addiction. And then, what had happened is that because my father and my mother would always invite me to go to church every Sabbath, and then to crusades and to revivals and reformations, while I'm seeing all the things that we've been doing, the wrong things that we've been doing, I could see, and then I'm trying to teach myself. After partying for a long time, there's no more joy in me, and I'm just like that, and could not feel peace. I would go to the restroom while they are all sleeping, those friends that I have, and then I'm teaching myself. I'm teaching myself that this is wrong because like this, like this. And then because of that, I ran away home. I ran away home just for me, thinking that I would find myself by running away home. And my thinking is that I want to be a drug lord. <laughs> That's what I was. I want to be a drug lord and live in a condominium and just spend my whole life in drugs and doing all these things. And then I go back home because I cannot do it because I really love my family. <laughs> Despite of my disobedience, I have loved them so much seeing that I have been a burden for them. That's why I ran away home. I went back and then it is to be my 18th birthday that I decided that my birthday will be spent unto my family. And after eating outside, they brought me to a revival and reformation. And then Pastor Ekoto was speaking in Manila Center Church. I could not really understand what he's saying. <laughs> but those that are in slide, I could relate. And then as he came to Ako, I felt, elect I felt electrified. <laughs> and then I went to the here in front and then kneeled down. And there asked God, asked God to surrender myself unto him. The fear of the Lord started unto me that I started to give up all unto Him. Um, then what happened is that I go back home and check my Facebook because usually that's what we do when we have our birthdays. We check those who have greeted us. But the, <laughs> there is a message which is not a happy birthday. It's an Indonesian guy who graduated theology here in AUP and is studying up on that time in IS. And then I to he told me, Josh, how are you? Because we used to be schoolmates in AUPA Academy. And then I told him, I'm okay, and I'm going back to AUP to study pastor. <laughs> I don't know the word theology, that's why I said pastor. <laughs> and then he told, that's good, I just graduated theology. And then, it's just, for, it's just like a miracle for me to someone to send a message for me, which I am not close to, but telling me that he, is, he just graduated theology and I'm going to, theo going to AUP to study theology. And then he told me, he teach, he teach me to pray. He told me to pray and he gave me Bible verses because I said, how, paano yun, how, paano yun, kuya? I don't really know what Bible is. I don't know the scriptures. And then he sent me verses that it could, that, that would give encouragement unto me. 
And so it was, brothers and sisters, that's why I decided to accept the call to, to study theology. It's because when I was a child, five months old, my mom and dad have prayed for me. Wherein, I've got a dengue and my life was on 50-50. That if ever I made it alive, I will be dedicated to God's work. And then after a lot of years, God had shaken me through the dead reality to make me be alive and met Jesus. Wherein, through all those things I went in through, I could not find peace. I thought it would only be, I thought it would be only be found in the world, in my disobedience and foolishness. God's grace is, is still sufficient. And I thank God for putting me here, for in here in this institution, I've learned how to stand firm for Jesus. I've, he taught me a lot of things wherein how to pray. He taught me how to read God's word. There are things that he have taught me that could I never learned back then when I was still on that wicked world. But I believe that we are still on this world, we're still full of sin, and I'm still longing to grow on and press on toward the goal of the calling of our Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I thank the God Almighty that we have for His great love, that it is true that He could save. And now, back then, when I do not know Him, I thought that life and happiness would be found in the things that are in the world. But Jesus had taught me contentment and all of these things that to live simply with Him is much more better than all I could ever think. This is my humble prayer.